So you can see here, I have a bunch of magazines. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you my little collection of recipe magazines. Kind of collected a bunch. Some of them I have purchased, but lots of them I have picked up um, in the stores. They offer them for free. So I, I don't even know exactly what is in this pile, but I'm just going to take a quick look through all of them. Well, just showing you the basics, what's on the cover, and just a little summary of the contents. Alright, so let me get a little closer view for you, and we'll take a look. Alright, so here is the first one. The top. So this one was um, one that was given away for free at the liquor store, <laughs> wine and fine wine and good spirits. And I just picked it up because I thought it would be handy. <laughs> And it was free, and it would have maybe some interesting drink recipes. So I don't really drink liquor like this. I mean, I will, but I don't know how to mix drinks. I like to drink beer. <laughs> So, I'm not really into all that stuff, but I thought it would be good to have. And so, this is a quarterly publication. This is from fall of 2020. And it's the new spin on gin. Plus, bourbon tastings at home, aged rum and tequila. Rosé, five ways. And let's see, it also includes this cucumber lemonade cocktail. This is called Taste. So I think this is the only magazine that I have from this publication. So I don't really know what is normally included side. This is a, all about the highball. This is what my grandparents used to drink, I remember. Scotch and soda. So, I will just show the contents here. It starts with the essentials. New trends, products, um, let's see, mixology, 101, the highball, and let's see, different drinks here, um, spirits, gins, new spin, craft distillers and inventive mixologists have transformed the old school spirit, it has recipes for modern Gin cocktails. This is a guide for entertaining, having a bourbon tasting at home. And this is about wine, rose, five ways. Once a summertime only staple, rose is now enjoyed year round. Specialty spirited autumn. This fall, savor aged tequilas and rums. Give you a 
shopping list. Gives you a guide to luxury wines and spirits. A buyer's guide. And a guide to European wine. of different information here. So I don't think I've really looked much at this one. But, okay, so that's the first one. Let's see. This one here I've had for a while. I think I purchased this one. This is from Taste of Home, easy weeknight dinners, ready to go in minutes. So it's got one dish dinners, quick skillets, slow cooker suppers, plus fast sides and desserts. So this is from 2015. 173 speedy recipes for busy families. So, let's see. And the contents are 30 minutes to dinner. It's beef, chicken, pork, and meatless. And there's a slow cooker section. A grill it section, a pop it in the oven section, fast desserts, 20 minute sides, and the index. So I don't remember having made anything from this magazine. A lot of times I just pick them up just because either they're free or I don't know, something catches my eye. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. Uh, maybe I'll come back to this one. Seems like it has a lot of Mexican recipes here. With caramelized pears. So it's just a lot of easy dinner recipes. Alright. Okay. So that is that one. I should try to organize them. to some of my giant store recipe magazines. These are called Savory. You may have seen some of these in videos already. I love these magazines. They are free and they come out, I guess, seasonally. So I always pick one up when I find a new one. And I do love a lot of the recipes in them. They are um, very good and easy recipes to make. They're quick. Um, and I have found some of my favorite uh, like weeknight dinners to make from this magazine. So this one is from September of 2018, and it's all about how to feed a picky eater. So how to hide the veggies. That looks good. Um, so they... I think that all of these magazines 
have this one section that I like that gives recipes. I think it's called, um, what is it called? Five ingredient, five ingredient recipes maybe? Take five. So, I think every issue has that section. So it's lots of good recipes that only take five ingredients to make. See, here it is. Take five. And this one is about um, chicken for dinner. Well, this one is. Okay. So you see it tells you the five ingredients with very quick and simple directions. Here are some more. So those are very nice. I love when uh, recipes don't have too much, make it too complicated. Veggie pizza quesadillas. I guess this is all about sort of trying to feed kids in a healthy way. Alright, so that is one of my giant magazines. And here is another giant savory. This is um, from January of 2021 savory. This is all about simple food that inspires. Um, 41, what is this? Guiding Stars Rated Recipes. Eight ingredients, five meals, sheet pan family dinners. Build better habits with smart solutions for saving money, planning meals, and feeding your family. Simple recipes and no-fuss techniques make it easy to eat well every day. So, and they always um, give ingredients, of course, that are available in the store. How to roast everything. Roasted cod tacos. Not sure. 
sure if I bought this one. It might have been when I finally purchased a slow cooker. Appetizers, meats and poultry, meatless mains, soups and stews, side dishes, and desserts. Tells you all about slow cooking. Something for everyone. Ruben sandwiches, comfort foods. Mm, that looks so good. So this is seems like it's got a lot of pages here. another giant magazine. This one looks a little older, maybe. This is from, yes, this is holiday 2011. And it didn't have that savory title. It just says healthy ideas with coupons inside. Deck the halls this Christmas. It's all about the holidays. So this one looks a little different than the newer versions here. It seems like it improved a lot over time. The pictures were nicer in the newer ones. Less um, coupons and stuff. It just has these little inserts here. So I guess you could cut them out or just keep them in the book. Fun treats and spooky crafts. Let's 
see, what is this one from? Usually you would have the year of oh, October 2018. So obviously this is going to have lots of fall recipes. a recipe that was on a placemat at an airport restaurant that I just thought was cute and I just decided to take it with me. I haven't tried to make the recipe but it's for Spanish bean soup and yellow rice and chicken. Taste of Home. It's just a small magazine that I guess lost its cover. But these ones I liked. I used to pick them up um, because they are all recipes using the same ingredient. So this one, I think this one is all about bacon. So every recipe inside is inspired by bacon. So obviously this one will have a lot of breakfast type recipes. So I haven't used this book in a long time. I think I did make a few things out of So I have a couple of these, each with um, a different main ingredient. So, let's see, here's another one. Sorry, these are in kind of bad shape here. This one is a taste of home. It's all about tomatoes. This one I really liked a lot of tomatoes. Doesn't this look good? is a rustic tomato cheese tart. Okay, so it really has a lot of different recipes included. There's like two on each page. I don't remember which recipes from here. Tomato 
those are so good. for every occasion made in 30 minutes or less. Well, I can't resist a free recipe magazine. This is braised eggs, so I guess I will include a lot of, um, mostly all recipes using boar's head meats. I love eggs also, so anything with eggs. Eggs Benedict. Ham and cheese stuffed French toast. I've never used this book before. So I think everything will have some type of meat. Very sweet and spicy pita. Turkey and slaw sandwich. I do like turkey. Smoked Gouda turkey sandwich. That looks really good with the avocado. Baked 
debris. So anything with meats or cheeses, I guess. Cauliflower caviar with fris frizzled prosciutto. That's different. And some main courses. Alright. I should take a look at that one too. I have so many. So here's another taste of home. Um, lots of holiday additions that I seem to have. The big feast, three ways, 20 plus super size, or sides, pie inspired desserts. It's all about Thanksgiving, I guess. Got a index with pictures here. Has appetizers and drinks, breads, condiments, desserts, main dishes, sandwiches, sides and salads, soups and stews, autumn pumpkin. Shrimp and grits. And there's other stuff in here too, just like the other one. It has more than just recipes. Mm, crab egg foo young. I love egg foo young. And I love crab. Here's another taste of home. I guess I like to pick up the holiday recipe ones. Favorite holiday recipes. Make ahead brunch ultimate lasagna.
this one's more about Christmas. The best ever lasagna. That's really pretty, frosty. Mama's spice cake. That's really pretty. This looks good. Creamy scalloped crepes. These are really pretty pictures. This here is another giant savory magazine. I think I used this one maybe in a video too, I'm not sure. So this is from October of 2020. This one is all about Share the Harvest. Celebrate fall with affordable meals. Let's see. Pumpkin squash. Ten dollar meals. One skillet meals. Halloween treats. Okay, so these are slow cooker meals to share. Slow cooker red curry chickpeas and squash, plant based meatball and pepper subs. Oh, and it um, pairs different beers with the meals. Um, carrot ginger soup, green chili pork, some desserts here, slow cooker pecan monkey bread. What is this one? Linguini with anchovies and shallots. I should try that one. Oh, tuna bowl with orange vinaigrette. So I don't know, this one just seems to have a lot of different things. Yeah, so I did use this one in a cooking video I made. This pumpkin skillet cornbread. And a, did I make these two? The ground flaxseed. <laughs> That's right, because I didn't have ground flaxseed. Pumpkin chocolate chunk cookies. So I made both, both of those things a couple of years ago. Okay, so it's just sort of random things. Here is the take five ingredient meals that I like. This one is baked salmon with spicy lemon butter. You see all it takes is lemon, green onions, butter, hot sauce, and salmon. So a lot of these I think turn out really good. Okay, so I won't look through the whole thing. See, like this one, I remember this one was messed up. Because halfway through it printed the pages upside down. Alright, so there's another giant savory. Okay. Okay, so this is an old one too. This is from Food Network Magazine. Easy Chicken Dinners. 125 weeknight recipes with simple signs to match. So this one actually, this I had looked through in my very first YouTube video. This was my first video that I made. 
but I think I actually erased that video because maybe I think looking back when I look back at my older videos I think they're so bad so I start erasing them I need to just stop Oh, it, this one was a good one too. It's organized by soups and stews, sandwiches and tacos, dinner salads, skillet dinners, pasta and grains, grilled favorites, and baked dishes. And I remember just liking how they laid everything out here. In these pretty pictures. So that just looks really nice. Mm, soups and stews. I love soup and stew. <laughs> now it's a good time to make this kind of stuff. Mm, chickpeas. That one looks good. leave this one out and then it has side dishes to pair with whatever the main course is chicken and quinoa soup chicken chickpea curry I think I made this one before chili chicken pozole Some sandwiches and tacos. And this avocado salad. So I think I've used this one a few times. Cooked some recipes out of here. I should leave this one out because I know that I liked I liked this one. So lots and lots of different things in here. I liked this one. Okay. And I do have one, two, three, four. Look, I have like six, six more of these giant savory. I guess I've been collecting them for a while. This one is from June of 2020. Celebrating five years. This is a mom's guide to summer. Fire up summer. Okay. So it's going to have a lot of stuff that's good for. Like the grill, probably. Let's see. Seafood. Like scallops there. Grilled scallops with grilled lemon butter. All these different ways to um, to dress a hot dog. That's cool. I love hot dogs. Southern slaw dog. a nice plate of some kind of steak here. Let's see, grilled steak with corn salsa, scallops, and marinated chicken. Asparagus and green bean salad with eggs. like um, handheld types of things. Pizza. Tomatoes. What does that say? 25% of your recommended daily amount of vitamin C is in one medium tomato.
see, here's some of these five ingredient things. Here's some smoothie recipes. Lots of salads, the types of foods that people eat during the summertime. Blueberry smoothie bowl. And a lot of times they include recipes that you can make with their rotisserie chickens that they sell already cooked. So, lots of fruit salads, s'mores, things like that. Okay, so that is that one. I do have more than just <laughs> giant books. I promise. This one is another one. Giant Savory. Merry and Bright. Another holiday issue. December 2018. Ginger be Gingerbread Berry Trifle. Let's see. It's going to be a lot of the same, I guess. Holiday meals, side dishes, Radish yogurt sauce. It looks good with the cucumbers there. Shrimp linguine a la vodka. I think I'm gonna have to come back to this one too. Different ways to decorate your cookies. Ideas, lots of cookie recipes. Mm, that. Beet and hazelnut salad. And what is this one? That looks good. Sweet onion brisket. Very yummy. Okay. One. This looks good right here with the shrimp cocktail. Okay. And the next. I know I already looked through this one, I believe, in a video. Oh, this is the Spring Fresh Edition, April 2019. A lot of springtime. And I guess for celebrating Easter, salad of green beans, tuna, radishes, and pickled onions. I made this salad before. I remember now. I love tuna fish. Let's see. Different things here about tea, chocolate, and coffee. Green, you are clean. Okay, they sell that 
nature's promise there, a giant. Gluten free. This is sauteed radishes with mints. Let's see, cucumber cabbage salad with lemon dill vinaigrette. Nice little crunchy salad there. Let's see different ways to decorate your Easter eggs. Poached green beans with green olive vinaigrette. Yukon gold and sweet potato gratin, if that's how you say it. A recipe for cooking a ham. And let's see, matzo. And this pretty salad on the front. Easter egg cob salad. It's really pretty on that egg shaped plate there. another from October of 2019. This is a fall edition. Let's see, slow cooker special, Sunday fun day menu, and be a better baker. Yeah, baking is very hard. You have to be very like Cooker breakfast tacos, pumpkin pie spice oatmeal, some Boston baked beans, spicy chicken and broccoli alfredo. There's lots of um, slow cooker recipes, different. Halloween decorating ideas. Mm, garlicky beans and greens over toast with crusty Italian bread. Cincinnati chili spaghetti. Mussels with marinara sauce. These puff pastry. Pear and cranberry turnovers. Mm, apple and honey bread pudding. What's this? Oktoberfest. Beer pizza dough. For a twist on the recipe, try pizza dough made with a touch of beer for extra flavor. I'll tell you a little about October first. So here's a recipe for soft pretzel nuggets with beer cheese. And beer, of course. Here's some more of the okay, five ingredient recipes. And I made this one before and I really liked that. It's really, really easy. Strip steak with red wine pan sauce. The only rest, I mean, ingredients are strip steak, red wine, thyme, mashed potatoes, and butter. Very easy and very good. Okay. So that is that. This one is from September of 2020. Amazing.
amazing affordable meals. Okay. It's a recipe for sauce, marinara sauce, all purpose chunky marinara sauce, lemony spaghetti carbonara with peas. Shrimp, I love shrimp. Let's see, that would be whole grain penne with spicy shrimp and broccoli. Shrimp is another really quick and easy thing to cook. Ten ways to save money in the kitchen. One zucchini with corn and cheese. Mmm, grown up grilled cheese. Yum. Spinach and Gruyere grilled cheese sandwiches. Spicy tomato grilled cheese. I'll take any of those. Sweet pan grilled, oh no, sorry, sheet pan grilled cheese with apple and Dijon. Okay. Grilled cheese is another favorite thing. <laughs> Gluten free zucchini brownies. Grilled zucchini with blue cheese and lemon. Some of the five ingredient meals here. Grilled chicken caprice, five ingredients. All it takes is chicken breasts, olive oil, mozzarella, plum tomatoes, and basil. Some more salmon. Ground turkey, fried rice. Okay. another Christmas or holiday um, edition. This one is just from this past December of 2021. On the cover is this Christmas tree cheese ball. Citrus ornaments. Okay, so you actually have to bake the oranges. That looks really pretty though. Cranberry and popcorn garland. That's nice. A holiday grazing board. That's really pretty. All the red and white and green. Made with love. 
these DIY food gifts make it easy for loved ones to create their own holiday memories together, like decorating cookies or making hot cocoa. So all these little things you can make, that's cute, little food items. little jars, the little mason jars that you find sometimes already made. This is the recipe for garlic ranch beer bread jar. And then you just make the little directions and tie it on the jar. It's cute. Mexican hot chocolate sticks. Holiday granola, mm, chocolate peanut butter spread. This pretty little box of cookies here. Cookies around the world. Make a spectacular holiday dozen this year with cookies from around the globe. So many different kinds here, and I don't know how to pronounce them. Chocolate almond spiced cookies. Nanaimo bars. Oh, that's Norwegian butter cookies. Those look really good. Berliner Grunzer. <laughs> Peanut butter miso blossoms. Bulgarian jam-filled cookies, Maslinki. These pretty stained glass ginger cookies, so you can make a little cookie box. Some stained glass ginger cookies made into ornaments. Nice recipes, garlicky cannellini beans with wilted kale and eggs. Mmm, I'd eat that one. Southwestern chicken soup with sweet potatoes and corn. Okay, so here it is, a nice big picture there. Very nice. $10 meals. Some drink recipes. Big batch poinsettia punch and the bourbon eggnog fizz and the mimosa cupcakes with champagne frosty. Here's a pretty brunch grazing board. of the Happy New Year. Here's some nice recipes here. The mimosa cupcakes with champagne frosting. Let's see, here are some more five ingredient recipes. This is instant pot chicken tiki masala, chicken thighs, coconut milk, frozen spinach, tiki masala sauce, and jasmine rice. Let's see. This one looks delicious. This is vegetable wellington. These all veggie mains make a stunning centerpiece on any holiday table whether or not you have vegetarians on your guest list. I'm definitely going to try this one, but I'll probably be the only one in my house that likes it. I think I'm the only one that really enjoys more vegetarian meals. 
is couscous and chickpea salad with za atar. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Mmm, what is this? Easy strawberry orange jelly donuts. That looks really good. Uh, what's this one be? That's the couscous and chickpea salad. Cookie decorating tips. Here's all of the cookies. Russian spice cookies. And what is that, this one? So they're called Prianiki. <laughs> Prianiki. I'm probably saying that wrong, but they look really in Russia, no tea time is complete without priyaniki or spiced honey cookies, especially during the holidays. They're made with black tea or coffee and covered in thin white icing. So, here's all of the cookies and that's about it. One, two, three, four, five. Um, this one is another giant savory from just this month, January of 2022. Happy re New Year. Refresh your kitchen. Rethink your veggies. Revisit big batch cooking. Affordable meals. Good mood food. That's going to be next month. Salmon and veggie foil packets. Super fast. Short on time, but never short on flavor. These 15 minute meals are also right in line with everyone's better eating goals. This is a coconut shrimp stir-fry. Looks so good. This five-ingredient caprice avocado toast. All you need is pesto, avocado, whole grain bread, mozzarella, and plum tomatoes. The mussels, spicy Thai style mussels. Hmm. Clean out the pantry chili. That's a cool idea. Let's see. And this looks really good. What is this? Open faced tuna melts with potato chips. Ooh. That looks really good. Uh, let's see, different ways to organize your kitchen, I think. Ten ways to refresh your kitchen. Vegetarian for the whole family. This is instant pot lentil walnut tacos. Different ways to maybe make some changes. Rethink your veggies. Vegetables you thought you didn't like become totally irresistible in these recipes. Okay, so let's see here. Here is egg roll in a bowl. Let's see, that sounds really good. A bigger picture of it there. Okay, egg roll in a bowl. Rework classic takeout egg rolls as a lighter main dish. Kids can help prepare. A great way to get them excited to try new foods. Oh, I have too many recipes that I want to try. Let's 
the shopping list for this one would be olive oil, coleslaw mix, shredded carrots, green onions, rice crackers, sesame seeds, ground ginger, reduced sodium soy sauce, sesame oil, and ground chicken. Favorite recipes. Your new favorite recipes for 2022. This year we embrace all things simple. After all, we've been through the pandemic, political stress, and unpredictable weather. We certainly deserve some easy living. That's why I'm sharing three fuss-free recipes that everyone in the family will enjoy. Add them to your regular rotation. So she's got three ingredient chili, sheet pan pancakes, and caprice Caesar wrap. Mm, energy chocolate chip cookie dough bites. Lots of things that seem to be trying to make life a little bit easier. Mm, what is that? Make ahead freezer egg muffin sandwiches. So, here's some Rediscover Baked Potatoes. Fun family meals. Okay. Alright, so this one I'll have to take a little bit of a closer look at. Alright, I'm down to the last giant savory issue, I think, unless there's one hiding in there. This one is from September of 2021. This is um, titled Easy 9 to 5. I don't remember if I've made anything from this one. Let's see. When 9 to 5 days keep everyone busy, these simple recipes and time-saving tips make meals easy. Kids will also learn how to cook and bake with recipes designed with recipes designed just for them. Okay, let's see. Three new ways to wrap. Um, what are these? Kids can cook baked beef chimichangas. Freezer-friendly baked French toast sticks. Not going to go through every single page, but some pantry helpers. Shortcut ingredients for your fridge, freezer, and pantry get you halfway to dinner in minutes. Different ways to save time and make the meal a little bit quicker. Okay. Pasta with spicy broccoli. So these are the five ingredient uh, recipes. Chipotle tuna melt. The ingredients are celery, tuna, chipotle mayo, pita, and sharp cheddar. Some grilled steak and farro with herb sauce. These ones are 13 minutes to make, 15 minutes. about apples. This is uh, peanut butter and apple snacking candy.
cake. Okay, so let's see. Um, 44 pounds, the amount of apples the average American eats each year. It's the second favorite fruit after bananas. One third are eaten fresh, the rest are enjoyed as applesauce, juice, and other products. Mm, pumpkin spice sweet potato pancakes. So many nice little recipes in these magazines. One pot mac and cheese. Ten ways to save time in the kitchen. Okay, chickpea and corn cakes. This one is grilled pork skewers over cauliflower rice. Okay. Nine ingredients, five meals. So I guess if you buy these nine ingredients, they give you five different meals to make. So the shopping list for this one is six ears of corn, two heads of lettuce, one small red onion, two pounds of sweet potatoes, one package of baby spinach, two cans of chickpeas, three packages of cheese and garlic croutons, one bottle of white balsamic vinaigrette, and 12 boneless pork chops. Okay. Alright, so that's about it for this one. Okay, looks like I have, oh, I do have one hiding under there. This is a different one. This is called Superfoods. Eat for health and wellness. Um, don't know when this was from. It's from maybe 2018. And I think I got it thinking I would make a video with it, but I never, never did. So it just seems to list um, all the different uh, foods here that are included. First one being avocado. <clears throat> okay, so it's um, let's see, it's I'm not sure if it's a really a recipe book or not. I thought it was. Seems to be more so just um, talking about each one and why it is considered a superfood. Okay, well this would make a good video, but um, let's see if there's any recipes at all. Just give you tips on how to find. Okay, so here's a recipe using garbanzo beans. Okay, mm, green tea spritzer. Sounds good. Alright, so it does have uh, some recipes in the back. Mm. I just want to make so many of these things. Alright, so this is a nice one. And I'll have to read through some of these recipes here. Portobello pizza with red pepper jam. Okay, so that's that one. This one is a little different. This one I also bought, thinking 
I was going to make a video with it. I just loved the way it looked. It's got this different kind of feel to the paper. This is one bowl baking. 71 recipes for one layer cakes, bars, quick breads, cookies, and more. So on the cover here is a stone fruit yogurt bread. This is my husband's favorite cookie, a Madeline. Madeline's? I don't know how you say it. This is a version with um, blood orange almond butter oatmeal cookies, Hawaiian bars, Let's see, lemon sugar cookies, date and pistachio chocolate biscotti. Walnut bars. Let's see some of the quick breads. Snickerdoodle swirl loaf with salted pistachios. Sun dried tomato muffins. Cheesy beer bread. Lemon matcha tea loaf. Okay, so this is all desserts, I think. One bowl baking. Really like this one. Okay, and the last one. Why not? The last giant savory. This is from July, August of 2019. This one is called Lazy Summer Days. It has seven minute meals, salads that eat like meals, and juicy peach recipes. Okay, so this is the last, last one here. It's another uh, giant savory uh, magazine. This is a summer edition. It's just these little cold drinks here. Sweet and sour pickled watermelon blend. Um, skewer recipes. Things for the grill. Some more kids cook. It's a s'mores pie. Peanut butter buckeyes. Let's eat outside tonight. Beef fajita packets. These single serving foil packets aren't just less fuss. 
the juicy beef seasons the veggies as they cook for big flavor fast. Here are some seven minute meals. This is ribs with pineapple slaw. Ice cream. Got different, let's see, non dairy fruits and desserts. Okay, don't eat dairy. Don't worry, we found the creamiest, tastiest pints to keep you cool and satisfied all summer. And here's a summer salads section Chicago style hot dog salad. Okay, that's the first time I've seen a hot dog salad. Okay. So that is... So that is my collection of recipe magazines. I do have also a lot of cookbooks. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look through all of these recipe magazines with me. Thank you so much for watching.